Hi, this is Derek Murphy of creativity.com. If you are an author and you have struggled to try to find new readers for your book, you might have come across the term universal book linker or universal book linker tool. Um, I'm going to give you some of the best options and then introduce you to a new tool you probably haven't heard of yet. And also some of the reasons why you may want or not want to use a universal book linking tool. So I don't actually have one that I use and recommend, um, but I know that a lot of big power authors do use them to make things simpler. The basic idea is if you have maybe a, a call to action on your social media page, it's difficult to link to all of your books or all of your call to actions. Um, and sometimes you just want a universal book link tool that, for example, instead of sending them generically to Amazon, it'll automatically identify the country that the person is coming from and then send them to the right Amazon country page. So sometimes if you have a link that goes straight to Amazon, they're not really ready to buy yet. And it can make sense to send them to a splash page or an in-between website where they have more information. That's not necessarily what these do. Um, a lot of authors will use these for uh, either one specific book and multiple book purchasing platforms like Apple versus Amazon so that they can choose their best platform, or they can make like a library page with all of their books together. It's hard to talk about this without examples. So I put some examples on this page on Creativity, and then I'm going to show you how to build a universal book link page with uh, one link, which is the new tool that partners with my new 3D software. So the cool thing about one link is that it's got a little neat 3D tool that has a mouse over effect, uh, which you can't really see right here, but I'll show it to you later. You can also change the headers and images and add a quote, your social media links, um, calls to action under here under buy, you could list all the different specific bookstores and you can add multiple books. Um, but then you can also add uh, a special call to action or button that does whatever. So it's a neat tool. It's $3.99 a month, but if you're on my email list, I just put out a bunch of um, codes to make it a dollar a month or even lifetime free access. So this one's kind of the new kid on the block, but let me show you the other ones that most other authors are already using. Uh, Linktree is pretty popular. This is one option that they have on their website. So they've got one book. It's sort of like, it reminds me a little bit of uh, book funnels pages, but here's the book to um, I like that it has a price down here, actually. You can have the a button for the paperback. Uh, you can have links to Amazon versus Barnes & Noble or whatever. I think Linktree might substitute your links with affiliate links so that they make a little bit of money. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, here's another author page that has been more customized. So you can add a little bit of customization and then links to all of your books. Uh, Linktree is $5 a month. Another popular one is Book Linker. It's part of Genius, uh, which is a book linking tool. And this is one author's web page. So I like that it has the number of clicks. This also kind of reminds me of the Book Funnel um, page. I don't know. I haven't checked recently if Book, book Funnel allows you to make um, like a library page with all of your book links. And I'm also not sure, but I think you can set up a landing page on Book Funnel that has buttons to go to specific stores, so Amazon versus um, Apple. I think that's true. I use BookFunnel more than a lot of these other tools. Um, this one, BookLinker, also just put out a new update, so it looks a little bit more like this, which is super classy. And this is, I think, um, what most people have in mind when they think of universal BookLinker tools. You've got the cover, and then you've got the book links. I think this should have a place for reviews or a blurb, a short blurb, or, or some kind of a call to action, because just sending them here might not be enough. Um, but the basic, basic idea is you've, you've sold them somewhere else. They're just clicking on the link, and then it helps them to choose the right store where they're more comfortable making the purchase rather than sending everybody to Amazon when some people don't like to buy from Amazon. So that's kind of the point, and I think this looks really classy, um, but I don't think it has all of the features that I would like. Uh, this one's also $5 a month. So the next very popular tool is from Books to Read. This is actually part of Draft to Digital. So if you have Draft to Digital and you use it to publish wide, uh, you can use the same login to get into Books to Read, and then you can create um, either a book page for each book or a library page like Kevin Partner did. This is sort of a library page uh, that is pretty long, and it has kind of different subheadings for all of his books.
I think I have a working link so I can show you what that one uh, looks like. So it's kind of like this. I think you can brand it with a, a header image, which is cool. And then you can create a library page that has links to um, all of your stuff, different sections for different uh, genres. I just realized you may not have been seeing that screen. So uh, here it is again. So this is sort of a, it doesn't have um, buttons for specific different book platforms, but I think maybe if you click on one of the books, it'll go to the book specific page. There we go. So this is what books to read looks like. Uh, one specific book page, ebook or print, get it now, and then available at different uh, retailers. I would guess that you can customize this um, font on the checkout button. Maybe that's not true, but it seems like um, that's a very classy font for this particular genre. So it's something I'd probably want to customize. Down here, you could have other books about the author. So this is a pretty nice looking page. Um, if you click on get it now, then it'll take you to this other page where it has links to Kindle or Amazon, or I guess all the other buttons. Uh, so this is probably a pretty nice classy looking page, depending on what you want, that uh, does have some options for at least customizing the library page. So books to read is also um, a free option. So you can sign up and use it. Uh, Courtney says that you can automatically apply your affiliate codes to new links. So it's kind of a neat feature. And then Carrie says uh, books to read for multiple sites, book linker for Amazon specific links. So different authors have found uh, different ways to use the various tools. There's not really like a one size perfect um, option right now. And there's only like four, maybe five options on the internet that uh, offer this kind of tool. Another one is Story Origin. So they have a page that looks kind of like this, where you can have your cover, and then you can have um, links to the different bookstores. It's a little bit simple, uh, but it it you know it does what it's supposed to do. It's another free tool that you can sign up for. So as a designer and someone who talks a lot about um, making an author brand, a lot of these are a bit too simple for me. I wouldn't really want to use one unless I could make it look very cool and match the style of my genre or the book or the promotion that I'm running. And also because I'm mostly in KU, I'd probably just send them straight to the Amazon page on uh, KU rather than sending them to an in-between page. However, let me show you what one link looks like. I think I'm gonna have to copy the link here so that you can see it in the video. But this is a new tool that I picked up that partners with the 3D cover image. So it's free to use. You can start out and just create a link to your name. Um, I've already made an account or a few accounts testing it out. So I believe I can only make uh, one page, but I can go up here to editor. I think on the free account, you will have some limited options. Uh, the tool still works. It's just that a few of the, the cool features like adding a, a banner might look a little bit different. So I'm going to use my fiction site, which is Urban Epics. You can add an author headshot here if you want to, or a logo for your website if you've got one of those. And here I'm just going to add my pen name, Drake Mason. I added a little bit of a tagline here, thrilling epic and urban fantasy books. That's not a great tagline, but it's specific enough about what I offer. Um, if you have a pre premium membership, you can add a banner up here also. So I'd probably add some very, very cool um, urban fantasy or epic fantasy art. The kind of cool thing about, um, I've been talking about AI art recently and if you have some really powerful graphics, it can communicate the feeling that you want your genre to, com to communicate a lot better than a description. So like saying this down here doesn't really um, communicate very much, but having a really amazing image up here, uh, it can go a long way. So this isn't the greatest picture, but I'd probably use the same uh, 
header image that I'm using for my blog, or maybe a picture of the 3D book mockup with the covers and then a 3D image. Uh, but maybe not because you'll also put your covers down below. The point is that you can kind of brand the colors and the images to reflect uh, the feeling that you want people to feel in relation to your brand or your genre. Up here, I can go to social links. So this was pretty easy. I need to add the HTTP, but otherwise um, it's really easy to add these and then the logo show up. YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, PayPal. I could probably add like a tip me button. But anyway, those show up here and look good. Uh, then I can go to, I'm actually going to skip over to books. So if you click here on change, then you can upload um, a book cover image and it's going to add it over here and make this kind of cool um, mouse over effect. You can also add, you can increase the page numbers if you want it to show thicker, which is kind of neat. So here it is with the book cover image. And then I've got a purchase link down here. Uh, with the link button, I can change the call to action or I can add a drop dropdown uh, if I want it to go to multiple different stores. So I could say Amazon and add a specific link. And you can also add uh, drop downs within drop downs. So if I wanted the purchase button to go to Amazon, I could also have a link that goes to the ebook versus the paperback. Or maybe I could say, you know, Amazon UK or Amazon USA to change the country that way. Uh, so it looks really clean and nice. It doesn't have the logos like some of the other do tools do, um, but it still, you know, looks pretty great and allows you to add a lot of options. The main thing is customization. I could also add uh, multiple books. So I think the only hang up right now is that I can't make multiple pages. I can just make one link for my for all my author stuff, um, but you can change it, update, update it anytime. So you can always just add, you know, your newest release and your most popular books or whatever and add a few different links in there, or just if it's a specific promotion, just remove some of the other ones um, and have only have the book that you plan to feature. So if you add a link over here under links, it'll show up down here, uh, which is a good place for a call to action. I probably wouldn't say, you know, my website, I would probably say, um, get a free book or something. Ah, get a free book. So something that's more of a call to action that they can click on and then go to your uh, landing page. And then I could also say something like visit my website. These would be different links, of course, but just playing around for now, it would look something like that. And then finally up here under appearance, I can change um, all kinds of things. So I can set a one page color background, I would probably just do a black background, uh, which is more fitting. If I had my custom logo in here and my custom background, it would look almost just like my website, which is kind of the point where you can use it to really establish your author brand. I can also change the colors and style of the buttons or the corners the icons, some different stuff. I'm not sure if that makes a difference. So here I can change the background color and now I made my buttons red. So anyway, it gives you a lot of freedom and flexibility about how you design. You can even do three background colors for like an extended gradient if you have a really long page, which I really wouldn't recommend doing. Um, you want your books to look really good. So you want colors that, you know, match your books that don't distract from your books. So don't get carried away with, with too much, um, too much crap. But like the red buttons on the black background, they kind of match the style of the cover. So that doesn't look too terrible. There we go. And I can even change to get rid of that, um, outline around. There was, there was kind of a, like a stroke outline around the button, so I was able to remove that. It looks a lot cleaner now. Aha, uh -huh. and now my icon button style changed to update with my 
with these other buttons. Um, so I think this didn't really do anything before, but now I've changed the background color for the buttons. Now it gives me the option to match that style and make these red uh, as well. So that's pretty neat. You can go up here to open my page to see uh, how it looks. It's going to give me a 404 uh, because I changed the name of my page when I was updating it. So I changed a few things because I actually didn't save this and I had to start over. Make sure you click on the save button while you're clicking between these other things or you might uh, risk losing some. So this probably looked better on iPhone, but they also look pretty good on desktop. This is my desktop view. And when you refresh the page, the 3D book does that cool little rotating thing, which just catches the eye a little bit. It's got a neat little mouse over, over effect. Uh, it's just a little bit cooler than most other book links. And then because we can customize all of the colors and the backgrounds and everything, um, I actually think it looks fine without a header on top. Uh, but there is that option to add some more art if you want to, which could boost conversion. So for example, here's some of the A plus content I'm using on my Amazon page. Um, that looks pretty good up there. But then I wonder if I could just remove this. So I think there's probably a way to change or remove this. Uh, but even if not, I just picked a different A plus content and another piece of art here. And then I can actually add a review quote up on top because it wouldn't make sense to put my author name there. So as like a book splash page, I'd probably want to feature a review somewhere. It looks like this outline is in italics, so the stars don't look very good, but I could just add an attribution like Amazon reviewer or whoever the reviewer is, um, and then that looks pretty good. I could probably make this longer. I tried to paste in uh, two different reviews, but it's got a limit on 50 characters. Even so, that's long enough for uh, at least one pretty long review. Or I could put in some of my blurb up here. So this doesn't quite fit. It's a little bit too long. So maybe I'll just cut this first part. Oops. So Chosen Bleed, Born to Defy. Here's a little bit of a hook. And then here's my call to action with the purchase. Uh, so you can label your buttons like this for Amazon versus Apple. Uh, you can have drop downs if I want to give them more options to buy from, or like paperback, audio, etc. And then I've got a link to a free book or visit my website for updates. Um, on the previous plan for appearance, I think. Uh, so here on the header section, you can scroll down to hide the icon down here. Um, on the premium plan, on the free plan, you probably don't have that option. And you can't add multiple books, and you can't add a background um, header. But I think you can still do almost everything else. So even if you just want to use one link for free, I would try it out and see uh, what you can play with and how to make something that's, um, you can already tell, this is very unique and very different from any of the other universal book linking tool options. So that's how to make a universal book link with one link. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this tool or the other uh, book linking tools in general. Uh, I'll put a discount code down below that you can use to, um, to get into this tool a lot cheaper, but I probably won't leave it there uh, forever. Once the first you know few hundred, two thousand people start using it, uh, I'll probably remove the discount links. Thanks. Bye-bye.